The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Blanche Ely High takes on Plantation High tonight on School Duel. And welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Blanche Ely High versus Plantation High in what should be quite a showdown. Okay, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies, courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. <laughs> And for the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. Okay, and last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. And in this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Here's your first question. Deals with the Senate. According to the Senate website, this term comes from the Dutch for pirate, name this tactic that is used to delay a vote indefinitely. Jason? Filibuster. Excellent, all right, we got plantation on the map. Next question deals with dinosaurs. It lived during the Cretaceous period and was only about half as large as shown in the movie Jurassic Park. Name this dinosaur whose name comes from Latin words meaning fast and bird of prey. Yes, Julian? Velociraptor. Yes, very good. Landmarks. Before Gutzen Borglum started blasting it with dynamite, the Native Americans called it Six Grandfathers. Name this mountain in South Dakota with sculptures of George Washington. Yes, Kellen? Mount Rushmore. Very good. All right, Glenn Chile. Musical instruments. Named for its inventor, what woodwind instrument usually has a brass body and plastic or metal keys and comes in types including soprano, tenor, baritone, and alto? Saxophone. Very good, Kylie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. Athletes who compete on this device often practice by using a line of the same length and width on the floor because the real thing is raised up four feet off the ground. Kylie. Gymnastics. Incorrect. Blanche Ely, give the alliterative two word term for this apparatus that requires very good body control. Kellen. Balance beam. Excellent, correct, balance beam. The balance beams are only four inches wide and they are also covered in leather or suede to make slipping and falling less likely. Good job, Kellen. All right, we're back to questions. Scientist, what British scientist spent five years sailing around the South American coast? Yes, Kellen. Charles Darwin. Very good. <laughs> Celebrations. In France, it is celebrated on July 14th. Give the most common English name for France's national, Julian. Bastille Day. Yes, very good. Next question deals with spelling. Meaning to deliberately damage or destroy something, spell the word sabotage. Jason. S-A-B-O-T-A-G-E. Excellent. Oh, there's my horn, and that brings the end to the first strike round. We have Plantation leading with 50 points. Blanche Ely not too far behind. They have 30 points. We'll be right back with more School Duel 
after these messages. <laughs> My name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time, you bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy. That perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel, the first round of action ended with Plantation leading. They have 50 points and Blanche Illy has 30 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Kellen. I'm team captain. I'm a sophomore and go Tigers. My name is Ermin. I'm a junior and let's go Tigers. My name is Rayon. I'm a junior and let's go Tigers. My name is Sterling, I'm a junior, and let's go Tigers. Kind of getting our makeup done. Sterling's in there. Yeah. So team captain, give us some, you know, pep talk. Some pep talk? Yeah. Okay. Tell us, we're going to win. Make us feel confident. All right, look, y'all. You may not know me that well. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's only natural that the Tigers came here to win. Go Tigers! Hi, my name is Jason. I'm team captain and I'm a senior. Go Colonels! I'm Julian. I'm a senior. Go Colonels! Hi, I'm Kylie. I'm a senior and go Colonels! Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a senior. Go Colonels! What the? Oh, jump scare. Jonathan. 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 Um, that's crazy. Colonels came to conquer. Go, go Colonels! Let's go ahead and hear it for both schools. Big round of applause. I love this part. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. So schools, it is time to joust. <laughs> Kellen and Jason, you're first up. Like that handshake. Here's your toss-up question, and it's worth 10 points. He founded the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund before successfully arguing Brown versus Board of Education. Identify this first black Supreme Court justice. Jason? Thurgood Marshall. Very good. Excellent. All right, Plantation. You can go back to your station. Plantation, the following bonus questions all deal with American black history. 
Bonus question number one. Name the proclamation that declared, quote, that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforth shall be free. Julian. Emancipation Proclamation. Very good. Your bonus question number two. This scientist's research transformed agricultural development in the South, including different uses of the peanut to develop hundreds of products. Yes, Julian? George Washington Carver. Yes, very good. And your last bonus question. Elected in 1968 to represent New York's 12th district, who was the first black woman in Congress? Her name is Shirley Chisholm. All right, my next two are Myth and Julian. Come on down, it is your turn to joust. All right, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. What Broadway musical features the songs popular and Defying Gravity and retells the story of The Wizard of Oz? Yes, Julian. Wicked. Yes, very good. All right, you may go back to, with your school. Plantation, the following bonus questions all deal with identifying Broadway musicals by song. Bonus question number one. Based on a Disney film, what musical features the songs The Circle of Life and Hakuna Matata? Kylie. The Lion King. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. Based on a Victor Hugo novel, what musical set in Paris includes the songs At the End of the Day, Do You Hear the People Sing, and I Dream They Dream? Julian. The Miserable. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. Loosely based on a Shakespeare tragedy, what musical features the songs G, Officer Krupke, I Feel Pretty, and Maria? Kylie. West Side Story. Yes, very good. All right, my last two to joust are Kylie and Rayon. Let's go. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Oh, we always like a nice handshake. Here's your question. What brown desert-dwelling animal chases rabbits and other rodents, but in cartoons is generally too slow to catch a road? Yes, Rayon? The coyote. Yes, very good. All right, we are now with Blanche Ely. Blanche Ely, the following bonus questions all deal with desert-dwelling animals. Bonus question number one sometimes called ships of the desert because they are so important to transportation, what desert animal can have one or two humps? Kellen. Camel. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. The great horned species of this bird usually flies at night. Kellen. Vulture. Incorrect, it's an owl. Bonus question number three. What brightly colored reptile native to the American Southwest is the only venomous lizard native to the United States, though it isn't actually a monster? Rayon. The, uh, the chameleon? No, it's the Gila monster. And there's our buzzer. That means the end to the joust. We do have Plantation holding on to their lead. They have 120 points now. Blanche Lee has 50 points. But we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, and go.
America. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. to School Duel, where local high schools match wits. Today's game has Blanche Ely High competing against Plantation High School. Plantation is currently leading. They have 120 points, and Blanche Ely has 50 points. All right, it is time for the rapid action round, and during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since Blanche Ely is trailing, they get to go first, while Plantation waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with P as in Papa. Blanche Lee in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter P as in Papa. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So, here comes rapid action. Cue music and let's begin. Monthly income you receive after retiring from work. Paycheck. Winged horse of Greek mythology. Pegasus. Master endocrine gland located in the brain. Pineal gland. Three letter word for the average score of a golf hole. Programming language that shares its name with a constrictor snake. Python. Ireland's great famine was caused by a blight on this crop. Potatoes. Not a combination, but a group of items where ordering matters. An adjective formed from a verb like running or thinking. Clement VI, John Paul II, or Francis are examples. Italian city where you would find the Leaning Tower. Pizza. All right, great job. Let's hear it for Blanche Ely. Okay, now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Plantation High. And welcome back, Plantation. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with P as in Papa. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter P as in Papa. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. Monthly income you receive after retiring from work. Pension. Winged horse of Greek mythology. Pegasus. Master endocrine gland located in the brain. Pineal. Three letter word for the average score on a golf hole. Par. Programming language that shares its name with a constrictor snake. Python. Ireland's great famine was caused by a blight on this. Yes. Potato. Not a combination, but a group of items where ordering matters. Pear. An adjective formed from a verb like running or thinking. Clement VI, John Paul II, or Francis are examples of. Pope. 
Italian city where you would find the Leaning Tower. Pisa. All right, very good. Good job, both teams. Let's hear it for Plantation. All right, there were three questions that both schools got wrong, so let's go ahead and give you the answers to those. Master endocrine gland located in the brain. It's the pituitary gland. We also have not a combination, but a group of items where ordering matters, permutation, an adjective formed from a verb like running or thinking, present participle. And that horn means the end of the rapid action round. We still have Plantation leading. They have 190 points. Blanche Ely now has 90 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. <laughs> Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good every single time. You bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy. That perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School duel. We've got a good game going as Plantation is holding on to their lead over Blanche Ely. Our current scores are 190 to 90. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is the last round. Our schools go against each other again with toss up questions, but this time they are now worth 20 points each. Just a reminder if a question is answered incorrectly, then the other school can steal. This is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with history. What historical document states that men have certain inalienable rights, including life, liberty, and rayon? The Declaration of Independence. Science, what is the two word scientific term for the temperature at which a solid changes into a liquid? Rayon. Phase. Incorrect, plantation. Kylie. Melting point. Athletes. His father played baseball, but in 2020, he signed an unprecedented 10-year contract in another sport. Name this quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. Jason. Joe Burrow. Incorrect, Blanche Ely. That's Patrick Mahomes. Opera, sharing its title with the Shakespeare play it is based on, what Verdi opera has the working title Iago? Othello is the answer. Religion. What ninth month of the Islamic calendar ends with Eid al-Fitr and is observed by fasting during daylight hours? Rayon? Ramadan. Food. What salad generally contains Roman lettuce, croutons, dressing, and Parmesan? Caesar salad. Video games. What video game franchise's latest edition is subtitled Skyward Sword HD? Legend Kelly. of Zelda. Asia. What Asian nation was occupied by Japan from 1910 to 1945 and is now rayon? Korea. Legends. 
In the Robin Hood legend, Robin Hood's love interest is what maid? Maid Marion. Multiple meanings. What word can mean knocking down all 10 bowling pins in two rolls? Jason. Strike. Incorrect. Blanche Ely, what word can mean knocking down all 10 bowling pins in two rolls or extra, as in extra change or an extra car tire? Rayon. Spare. Art. Also called kinetic sculptures, what art form was popularized by artist Alexander Calder and might be found hanging over a baby's cradle? Jason. Mobiles. Canada. What Canadian province has voted more than once on whether to separate politically from Canada? Julian. Quebec. Astronomy. Examples of what astronomical object includes Swift Tuttle 1992, Shoemaker Levy 9, Hale Bob, and Haley's? Jason. Comet. Fast math. What is the value of x cubed if x equals 3? Jason. 27. The ancient world. Located in a temple in Olympia, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world was a statue of what king of the Greek gods? Jason. Zeus. Singers. She has Albanian ancestry and advertises for Evian water. Name this singer whose song, Don't Start Now, appears Julian. Dua Lipa. Bodies of water. Bordering Slovenia, Croatia, and Italy, what gulf shares its name with an Italian city known for its canals? Jason. Venetian, Venice. Elements. What alkali metal combines with chlorine to form common table salts? Sodium. Well, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as Plantation held on to their lead throughout the entire show. They are ending with a score of 390 points. Blanche Ely is ending with 210 points. Congratulations to Plantation. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Of course, great job to everybody. Let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible and all of you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media, and most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Cooper City High takes on Cypress Bay High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>